research molecular biologist with the USDA Agricultural Research Service, and I also hold an adjunct position with the University of Missouri. And my role in the Feed the Future Soybean Innovation Lab is under the Manage Research Area 2, Soybean Seed and Grain Quality. Soybean is, in the developed world, really an industrial crop where it undergoes uh, processing to create a high value vegetable oil and a, also a high value, high protein soybean meal that's fed to our livestock. As part of that process, there's a heating step which improves the functionality of the protein meal so that usually livestock can take a large portion of their feed uh, as this high protein soybean meal and it's necessary for heat step to make that fully functional. The low processing soybean is a trait that will reduce the need for the heat step to make the soybean fully functional as a feed, not just with uh, the industrial use in, in animal feed, but also possibly uh, in home use as soybean as a, a directly eaten or consumed food in the household. So we're hoping that the low processing trait will reduce the amount of heat or fuel necessary to create that fully functional and nutritious food, uh, especially for household use. The research involves taking the trait and putting it into African varieties that are locally adapted and high yielding. Uh, and we're, we're started with the trait in a, unadapted varieties. So the research uh, is going according to plan uh, and we are hoping to test the initial converted varieties with the low processing trait in our target countries in Africa in year three of the project. Our research line should be able to be evaluated in 2016 uh, in both Ghana and Mozambique. For me, because the seed and grain quality uh, objective under the larger project is really a connector to many of the other uh, managed research areas such as nutrition and social science and seed systems, the thing that I took away was the need for each of the pieces uh, to work together to manage information and technologies uh, and even new directions as we get research results for how to move forward and, and work as a real team to achieve our objectives. If anyone was interested in the role that we have in soybean seed and grain quality, they could uh, check the Soybean Innovation Lab website and they're under MRA2, they can find our contact information.